sorry, my camera cut out. Yeah, and it's got depth selection. That image there. <laughs> um, and then it's got behind these discs. I haven't watched the features yet, but they look like they could be quite cool. Got some cool zombie images right there. Pretty scary. Um. Sometimes I I think Day of the Dead's better than Dawn of the Dead, or I prefer it to Dawn of the Dead. I don't think it's superior, but it's probably my favourite of all of them, probably because of Bub. Um, you know that scene where he finds that Dr. Logan lying there, and his face, oh my god, I swear to god, I am so close to tears. You know, what zombie movie can say that? Um, that's all the features. I won't read them out, you probably know. But yeah, Bub is just genius. Um, now we have, you saw this one too, it's the Halloween 3 disc direct limited collector's edition of, of Halloween, obviously. This is Rob Zombie's one. Um, I got this from Germany, Amazon.d. Basically, I've been looking on there a lot because some Germans have some really cool packaging on some of their their movies, on some of the movies. So I um, and I've actually put in another order, and you'll see that in a couple of weeks or whatever. But yeah, let's have a look at this. This is made by whoops, not again. It's made by a company called Senator, and um, they make the next book box set as well. So they obviously do good packaging. Um. That's the box, it's got like the slash marks in it. And then it's got um, this card, like, show you a bit better. It's really cool. It's Michael Myers. And then, you know, um, when you get a DVD, it's usually got a thing stuck to the back, and you want to keep it, but it seems pretty useless. Well, the people who made this come up with a really cool idea. This was on the back. Um, it's got all the features and whatnot. Um, but they actually put on the other side like this art cardy thing with steals from the movie that just slips in there, so you can keep it. It's really cool. I'm easily amused. We've got the cool little ribbon thing, and it brings out the digi. Um, Halloween, Director's Cup, 3 disc. Um, the menu's in German, but it's pretty easy to um, navigate. Obviously, you might have to look up special features or just watch them. But yeah, English subs. Um, English language, so. It's up like this. Um, disc 1. It's not in my player, actually, because I watched it ages ago. Um, it's probably in one of my spare boxes. Um, you get an actual postcard. Here we go. You get a. Can you guess what it is? A poster. Let's see. Rah! <laughs> it's pretty cool. And you have disc, whoops, you have disc two and three. It's pretty packed with features. Unfortunately, I can barely read what the features are. Um, I actually work for some German people, so I know a few words in German. <laughs> um, there's the kid who plays Michael Myers. He's creepy, but kind of cute. He's got sort of like a baby face, but a scary one. Um, in terms of the film, I kind of liked it. Um, nothing beats the, ori the original, obviously. That's the scariest film I've ever seen, just because I'm completely freaked out by people following me. And Michael Myers does it best. Um, I thought it was good. I really liked the backstory um, of the film. I think... Uh, Rob Zombie did a pretty good job with that. Um, lots of swearing. 
don't know why I'm bringing that up. I'm not offended by swearing or anything. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just pointing out lots of swearing, lots of sex, and or nudity. <laughs> um, but other than that, it was really good. Um, I don't think the actual like killing scenes um, and the stuff with Michael after he escapes is um, particularly amazing. But then, you know, it had the whole backstory and obviously the original is going to do like the killing and stuff better but anyway Halloween great um, little box very happy with that and a good film I um, also got from the same place and the same company I got 1408 um, which is at, in Germany it's called Zimmer 1408 <laughs> um, it's kind of cool, it's got this key lock thing, um, again it's three disc, and it's got some art cards in it, Samuel Jackson actually wasn't on the original image, but I like him, so I put him there, so there you have it, take that off, and then you have this clear thing, and then you have... in the box it smells nice and then you have got these art cards which are really big and cool you have Samuel um, some creepy girl that's pretty cool isn't she? and again that that was on the back um, and they turn it into a, into a card this was the original image which looks obviously looks a bit better actually I might put that back <laughs> Um, I mean, same style box and digipack so there you have it it opens up like that it's pretty cool three gold discs um, I haven't actually looked at the images behind okay. Sack again, just like in Halloween, you get the postcard and that. No poster, haven't seen 1408 yet. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about it. I think people generally weren't, you know, impressed as they wanted to be with it. A few people have said um, it's quite good, so uh, we'll see how it is. It prob I mean, I'm imagining that it probably doesn't warrant a three-disc special edition extravaganza, but, um, there you go. I saw the box, like, Halloween, and I couldn't resist it, so I went for it. Um, I'll watch it soon enough. Stephen King movies can, um, sorry, I can't get it in. Damn it, left the ribbon out. Stephen King movies and remakes and whatever can be pretty hit and miss, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, and last but not least, we have, and I don't.